The left says this country can't survive without universal health care. You take away health insurance from 30 million people, how many of them will die? And the answer is many thousands. The fear that it is instilling in people. Stress is the last thing anyone needs when they are sick. We're united in our opposition to these Republican attempts to make America sick again. But does Medicare or even Obamacare really make Americans any healthier? Our next guest says she isn't so sure about that. Joining us now to explain is radiologist Dr. Nicole Sapphire. Good morning, Dr. Sapphire. Morning. So why aren't you sure if this makes us healthier as a country? Well, the Affordable Care Act hasn't been the public lifesaver that it originally set out to be. And in truth is that, you know, whether we have more insurance, more people covered, people are still making bad decisions. And it doesn't matter if you have insurance or not, we still have an obese population. We still have a lot of people smoking and just bad behaviors in general. And the inverse relationship between low socioeconomic factors and unhealthy behaviors has been well studied, and it's there. Whether you have insurance or not doesn't change that. But if you are overweight and you're eating a lot, and you do have a heart attack as a result, at least you can go to the hospital and you can get treated from your doctor and the rest of America doesn't have to pay for it. Well, that is true. But whether you have insurance or not, you go to the hospital with a heart attack, you're going to be treated. Now, the financial stability that has come out of the Affordable Care Act, that is proven. But whether or not it's making people healthy or not, that isn't so sure quite yet. Okay. So because you have health insurance doesn't mean you're going to stop smoking. It doesn't mean you're going to start eating healthier and you're going to see your doctor more. Right. You want a healthier America, you need to have people throw some skin in the game. They need to start taking some responsibility for their own health. The litany from the Democrats to the Republicans right now is, you know, you take away insurance from people and people are going to get sicker again. And that's not necessarily the case. What about opioids? We were talking earlier in the commercial break. You're saying more people because of Obamacare will flock to their doctors and get prescription medicine and they get addicted? Several studies have shown the people that have gained insurance through Medicaid expansion under the Affordable Care Act not only have an increased overall mortality, but they also have more overdose deaths and just overdose in general. And they're saying possibly because people are now have insurance through Medicaid, they have more access to opiates, but also your young adults who are staying on the, their parents' insurance, they have more access to opiates, therefore promulgating the opioid epidemic. And this is a huge problem, right, in America? Huge problem. You're seeing that in the hospital? Absolutely, every day. Not in the hospital, my personal life, everyone's life, everyone's affected by the opioid crisis. Really? So they get a painkiller and then they ask their doctor to, is it up to the doctor to say, hey, wait a minute, you don't need this anymore? Well, you know, there's a lot of things, there are a lot of factors that have to go with it. Patients come and some physicians are overprescribing. They give them a longer course because they're, they don't want their patients to be in pain. They don't want to be in pain over the weekend, needing to go to the ER for pain medication. So some have a tendency to overprescribe. Then you have patients going to multiple doctors, getting multiple prescriptions. Luckily, we have some mandates in place now that are overseeing this, so that is lessened. And we are really trying to hone in on appropriate opiate prescriptions. Okay, Dr. Nicole Sapphire, thank, thank you, you for joining thank us. You.